Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. This is day 14 of our UK coronavirus lockdown and this is video number 14. So if you are a regular on my channel, hi, welcome back. And if you're a new viewer on my channel, welcome. So today I'm doing just a quick tutorial, um, acrylic, it's just a nice, easy, simple design and I'm using CJP and glitter bells. So I'm going in, I've already laid my clear base down and now I'm going in with CJP's Frosted Rose. And what I like about this is it, um, it gives you a natural ombre without having to do the work for an ombre. So if you look whenever I'm spreading it down the nails, you can see that it's turning like a nice soft lilac colour. So I love the, the way it does this and I've actually ordered this acrylic to do on a client. Being in Northern Ireland, sometimes our post can come quite quickly or sometimes it doesn't. And unfortunately for that client, it arrived 20 minutes after she left. So I had to custom blend for her and didn't get a chance to use it. So I thought I would do this video to let you see what Frosted Rose from CJP is like. So the client who wanted her nails done like this actually saw it on um, not Pinterest, on Instagram um, by an amazing nail artist called Zach PN at Zach PN if you want to go on and look at some of his work it's amazing so I'm trying to recreate um, although I'm doing it slightly different than he has done it just to put my own take on it I don't like to really copy anybody's work I like to sort of add my own little bits so yeah the inspiration has come from Zach PN and um, I'm just, the difference, <laughs> I can't even speak today, oh my goodness. So the difference is that on the ombre, I'm doing a cutout and I'm going in with Glitter Bell's Unicorn Crush. It's amazing just the way it naturally ombres to this sort of pink to a soft lilac. It's amazing. It's like no work at all in doing an ombre. I wish there was more acrylic powders like this. So the Frosted Rose from CJP is a core powder and which means that we don't have to cap it, it has the strength. So what you see me doing was I was building up the apex using the frosted rose so I don't have to go in with the clear after. I'll just need to go in with the clear and just cover up um, where I've put the glitter and then match it up to that apex. I waited until the acrylic had completely mattified before I went in with my little cunning tool and that way it was able to come off quite easily. So I'm just going in again and just building up a little bit more of that apex. When I looked at it from the side it just seemed a little flat. I don't know about any of you but whenever I'm doing nails when um, I look at it from all angles so sometimes you would think I was dodging a punch because I, my head is moving from side to side just to see exactly where the apex is where you know where the beads of acrylic have went but it's like my form of exercise it's like nail tech chair exercise
how gorgeous was that glitter that I just opened? That was the um, Unicorn Crush by Glitter Bells. So now that the acrylic has cured, I'm going in with my file and I'm just crisping up and making those lines super straight. So we're on day 14, which means we've, fingers crossed, only seven days left of this um, like this lockdown. And um, I don't know about you, but I'll, I will be glad to be able to get life back to normal. So I do hope that it's not extended. So this is this gorgeous glitter. Oh, wow, so nice. So this is Unicorn Crush by Glitter Bells and I'm literally just putting that in the cutout area um, on the ombre nails and I will be using it very very sparingly on the two middle fingers as well as broken gold which is one of my favorites it really does look like gold leaf only you don't have the hassle of trying to break up gold leaf and it not break up get stuck to you the broken gold is amazing So this is the broken gold. As you can see, it really does look like little flecks of gold leaf. And I'm just putting it on like really, really sparsely. I, I don't want this nail to be covered in glitter. I want to be able to see the nail bed and to have light shine through the end of the tip. So it's literally just tiny, tiny pieces of the gold leaf or broken gold, sorry, that I'm putting onto this nail. Now I'm going in again with some of the Unicorn Crush and I'm using it exactly the same way that I used the Broken Gold. Just little bits of it, just here and there. Um, I still want to be able to see the nail bed and to be able to see through the free edge. So yeah, there's literally very, very little of both glitters on the nail. Now I'm just going in with my glass slippers from Glitter Bells and I'm just capping over the glitter um, because the Frosted Rose is a core powder so I don't need to cap it. And I'll do the same on the little finger and then I'll cap the entire middle fingers in glass slippers.
Now that it's all cured and ready to file, I'm going in and I'm doing my usual filing routine. I start on the side walls, make sure they're nice and straight, make sure my lower arch is in place and that my free edge is the shape that I want it to be. And this shape, it's sort of like a tapered square. I wouldn't, really, I wouldn't call this coffin or anything like that or ballerina. It's more of a tapered square. So I want my free edge to be nice and straight and nice and flush at the cutie goals and keeping my apex where I've left it. I love watching me file at this speed. I just wish I could file at this speed all the time because I'd have my nails done in half the time. quick wipe over now and then it's top coat time so because I'm doing glass nails um, on the middle two fingers I'll also top coat the underside of the nail as well just so that it's completely transparent. I'm using my Halo, uh, no I'm not, I'm using my Dream Goddess non-white top coat and as you can see I'm going to be adding some diamonds and I came up with this idea that I got Fiera Rocher for um, Mother's Day and instead of throwing the box out that I normally do I thought I could use this for my um, rhinestones and my crystals and it's perfect I can get all my different ones so I've now said to my husband that he needs to buy me more And here's the finished hand um, if you have liked my video give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel why not you can do it right now 
and if you hit that little notification bell it means you won't miss any more of my videos and you can keep up with my 21 day challenge so i will see you all in the next video bye we